Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P trade setups for today. So um, it does look like we have uh, broken all the last bits of structure on the eight hour um, for a move to the downside. Oscillators are a little bit oversold at the moment, so uh, take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. I'd be looking for a pullback to come and test one of the breaks, and uh, this break here uh, which is what I got into yesterday and I'm actually still in it which is 44.42 uh, I remember we were looking at that as a potential area of uh, resistance but uh, we'll show you now what the structure is that we've got at the moment but what I'm looking for is another pullback for an opportunity to add to a short trade so we are short at the moment and uh, be worthwhile just switching across to the week weekly chart and show you this is the target at the moment which is 43.30 uh, and that's kind of where we are we do have a bit of data coming out today we've got a fairly solid crossover here on the weekly uh, so I suspect uh, Mr. Burry might be right that we have a, a fairly deep pullback that is brewing so just bear in mind on the weekly a deep pullback does not necessarily mean that we have this thing falling to the floor it just means we're looking to come back and test some structure and uh, we had a lot of gaps from the beginning of this year well actually from february up we've had gaps there's one there there's another one there these are all weekly gaps it's three that's four that's four weekly gaps and typically weekly gaps close okay so that's kind of uh, the long-term view the minute you start switching down to the intraday time frames you can see uh, that was the structure we were looking at. We hovered around there, we eventually broke, had a half heart attempt at a, a retest, and we moved down. Uh, this is aftermarket trading that we have here. So we've got a pin bar, we've got what's so looking like a, a green bar that is forming, but uh, I'm taking that with a pinch of salt for now. It stops that entry anyway, so I don't really care what happens. I just want to put this level in so there is definitely structure here and there will be a little bit of structure here in this area as well so right now all the oscillators are indicating oversold but bear in mind V reverses are rare they do happen but they are rare so I would expect a pullback and then a continuation to downside so we are looking just get down to 15 minutes and then we can see the fine tuning so uh, a retest of 44.18 is definitely on the cards look at the oscillators that would be another area to add to shorts uh, me personally looking at this pin bar here as I say pin bars are always very important there was my my entry it was a bit messy so very small position that got in with a stop up above the swing high so that stop is now just on entry right now just in case we come back up to this 44.30 but I am looking to target a lot further down so that is kind of what we're targeting 43.30 right so um, I'm looking to add to my position right now and I'm looking to add somewhere around 44.18 and we could very well have this 4400 area as well as a break and rejection or we could have this bit of a range forming today around here there's a little bit more data coming out today which may influence this but uh, this aftermarket move I'm not really interested in at the moment so you know, if we come back and take a stop so be it but then I would expect us to start going higher to get uh, more structure brewing okay the uh, other thing last thing that you can do here is just put that in there and you'll see it coincides with this level anyway so it's 44.18 44.20 that's my short area for a continuation to the downside and I am swing trading this one at the moment so uh, no short-term targets looking just for 43.30 at the moment there are a few short-term targets where I suspect you will get some profit taking so you can see 
there's one right here at 4400 you can see that importance there so that's why we bounced off that there's another one there and that is 43.89 and if I swing even further back you're going to see how much there that you need to start picking up these tails here there's another one there so it's going to be interesting but I suspect that's actually a big one there I'm um, not going to get any more you know you know the drill so I suspect pullback onto structure, another opportunity to add to the trade, and then we're looking for moves down. At each one of these levels, you should get some buyers come in, move up, and then an opportunity to sell back into it, moving down until we get the big target. Okay. Anyway, that's kind of my view for today. And uh, just keep moving stop down as you go along and protect your capital. Hope that helps and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.